here we see extremist groups slowly popping up and it's not just popping up the gaining power this particular uh, political party has quite a, a big recognition in that particular region don't you think it's a threat to him uh, if he do not uh, pretty much call this from the bud and make sure that he this does not become a big problem maybe the next election uh, his party might lose and then this uh, political party the extremist party might gain power and there could be more of this than uh, you know taking it out Every single day, Pakistani security forces, military, law enforcement, intelligence, they are fighting against religious extremism. It is because religious extremism was harnessed by the Pakistan state in the past to fight uh, the Soviets mm. and it grew in Pakistan. So the key lesson is no one should use religion for their political reasons. If they do it, you're going to have a huge blowback. Now, Imran Khan is a good leader. He's trying to stabilize Pakistan. He wants to make Pakistan prosperous. But the foundation of any state, including Sri Lanka, is national security. If we have national security, we will have social harmony. If we have social harmony, we'll have political stability and then economic prosperity. But in the case of Pakistan, Right now, what has happened is Imran Khan is challenged severely mm. by these religious extremists and by these religious parties. That is why he was compelled to delist TLP, the party that was banned, that the party from which those slogans were used to kill the Sri Lankan Priyanta. So, Imran Khan has to manage these political forces because the religious extremist forces have become big mm -hmm. and strong and is directly challenging him. I believe personally that he has done what he can mm -hmm. as a response to Priyanta's issue. But ideally, he should ban this organization. He should also repeal the blasphemy law. And he should also mainstream the madrasas that is producing the support base for organizations like Taliban, like TLP. But these are very difficult yeah. challenges for a man like that. We have a few hundred Sri Lankans working in Pakistan. Uh, those Pakistani factories prefer to have Sri Lankans because they are technically very competent mm. and uh, also very disciplined. And uh, I think that the bilateral relationship, as you said, is, uh, is a very close one for many years. For instance, you remember mm -hmm. when the Sri Lankan military was under pressure in Jaffna, uh, the Indians said that they will give us the vessels to move our troops to the south. But General Musharraf said, I will send you MBRLs. And that was a turning point in the battle. So I think the Pakistan-Sri Lanka relationship is a very special one. They have constantly supported us also at, in Geneva. So I think that we should not allow one such incident to harm uh, that cordial and trusted friendship that has existed for many years. But we must not make a mistake by sending Sri Lankans to study in Pakistani madrasas the subject of Islam. Because if they do that during vacation, they will go to Afghanistan yeah. and fight. Of course, Sri Lankans can travel to Pakistan to study science, mathematics, philosophy, languages, uh, any other subject, but not religion. Because as much as we go there, how much of them are coming here? And how much of them are bringing that particular kind of philosophy and ideology to, to this? We place? are not permitting any more uh, Pakistani or uh, Arab preachers to come here because that is counterproductive. And I want to share with you uh, that Zahran's group also had a number of people who were in Pakistan. But Pakistani government has, was very decisive. They have arrested them and they have taken appropriate uh, action against them. Because the security cooperation between Pakistan and Sri Lanka is very good. But you must understand that exclusivist and extremist ideologies are spreading in Pakistan. And we have to protect our community 
from having uh, members of our community traveling to Pakistan and bringing back those ideologies. So as long as the Taliban is there in Afghanistan, I believe that Pakistan will be unstable because of those cascading ideologies from Afghanistan to Pakistan. We should help Pakistan during this period. We should help Afghanistan also during this period because I think that uh, the return of the Taliban Al-Qaeda alliance is very detrimental to the security and stability of this entire region. It is certainly very detrimental to Pakistan and India and Sri Lanka and the Maldives. All these countries mm. plus Bangladesh have suffered from terrorism because we are seeing the epicenter of terrorism is now shifting from the Middle East, from the Levant, Syria, Iraq to Afghanistan. And with that the threat of these cascading ideologies influencing our communities will become more significant. That is why our education department, our religious department, our, our information department, they should all play a very close working relationship with our military law enforcement and intelligence services to secure this country from these ideologies.